Hi guys, welcome. Good to see you again here on my channel. Uh, my name is Sebastian. I am the creator of Moby Flight. And in my last tutorial about the landing gear and the landing gear lights, where I tried to show you how to make sure that lights only turn on when the battery is on, I unfortunately made a little tiny mistake and Cool that some of you guys immediately um, actually picked it up and called out for it on the comments. So here's the video now to um, kind of correct for this. Let's take a look together what I what I was missing and let's take a look together of how to fix it and make it work correctly. So we are back in the Bonanza and you can see my landing gear uh, is all down, all the way down. It is showing green. And um, yeah, this is obvious because uh, the engines are powered. Um, we have our master battery switch um, here. They're all up. Let's switch over to uh, Moby Flight. And here is basically the um, configuration from the last tutorial. And we see everything is uh, currently activated. And uh, yeah, if we if we let it go, uh, if we let it run, and then we will also see that all lights are turned on as in the sim. And if I go and turn off the batteries, they still stay on because the sim is still reading one. It's not the LEDs, it's the landing gear position. So if I now go and if I now go and look at the precondition. So we said a precondition, the master battery bus has to be on. As we can see, even though that the precondition is enabled um, and the precondition pre is not satisfied, um, nothing is really happening because we are not, yeah, MobiFlight is, is, is simply saying, I have to skip this configuration. I don't have to pay attention because the precondition is not satisfied. So um, it, it is not going to say, oh, simply because of the fact that the precondition is not satisfied, I know that I now have to turn off the LED or, you know, when it was a seven segment display, maybe I don't know what I should do. So that's why we cannot let MobiFlight simply decide that it has to turn the LED off in case that the precondition is not satisfied. So what we have to do instead is we actually have to always go and uh, configure the opposite. So this is um, this is no battery. Yeah. So this is going to be our no battery. Um, configuration. So what do we have to do? Well, we have to check that the master battery bus is actually zero. All right. So now MobiFlight is going to um, evaluate this configuration. And what we can do is we can simply, we don't have to compare anything. We don't really have to uh, read any SIM variable. What we can do is we can simply use the transform field and set it statically to zero. So this will make sure that whenever this precondition, which is the opposite precondition of the, the first one, so whenever master battery bus is zero, well then just turn our LED off by setting the value constantly to zero. Let's give this a try. You see immediately our light, this LED, is now turned off and you can see that the precondition here has also uh, um, disappeared so let's uh, try and flip the switch and see what ha what happens okay so let's turn the battery back on well we saw immediately the leds coming on and what we also can see is that actually now the upper precondition is now satisfied so mobiflight is going to um, evaluate this configuration and the configuration is saying, okay, well, then if uh, the landing gear is down, set it to one, right? And let's turn it off again one more time. Boop, like so. You see, now the first one is not satisfied anymore, but now it's also turned off. So we have to um, make sure that always all of our preconditions that we set have also another configuration with the opposite precondition. So it's a little bit more of a configuration effort, and uh, but it might be very straightforward for many users probably because it's very obvious. But 
you have to understand that precondition really when it is not satisfied mobiflight basically is going to skip the configuration entirely it is not that when that mobiflight sees oh the precondition is not fulfilled i will set it to off because i mean that would be a good guess in many cases maybe but not in all cases so that's why we always have to have like a second configuration and then um, use the opposite precondition. Um, what I'm going to do is I will quickly show you that it's not too bad to add these preconditions like both um, uh, both cases yeah, to, to a uh, individual configuration. So let's take the late landing gear nose down as an example. So here we, we still have not set the precondition yet. Let's go configuration item, master battery bus and equals one because the configuration shall only be evaluated um, if the master battery bus has voltage. And then we have to make sure that we apply this. So that's a little kind of a little quirky here on the UI. Yeah, you make sure that you apply it. Um, and then you see immediately this is going to come on. on yeah, so it indicates MobiFlight is going to skip this configuration. That's why also for now nothing has changed. But now we can duplicate this one again and we will call this no battery, no battery. And then we just simply go to the precondition, set this to the opposite case, which is zero. And then we will say, you know what, statically set it to zero. Don't, you can use whatever you want. We could even, even switch over to the MobiFlight variable or whatever. It really doesn't matter. Transform sets it statically to off. We can take off the comparison. It really is not needed. And then voila, now the second light has also turned on. And just so that you see, once you get the hang of it, it's really straightforward. Just go here, config item, mastery bus, if equals one, apply. Don't forget the apply button, switch over. Uh, now in this one, we don't have to change anything. Immediately, the precondition is not satisfied. Exclamation mark shows. Let's duplicate this one. This is the no better. This is going to be the no battery case like so. And then we can um, again go to the precondition. Opposite case is zero, apply, and then take off the comparison so that nothing is going to be changed and set, set it statically to zero. Okay. And now everything is actually working as expected. I'll turn on the battery and all the green lines, green lights turn on. All right. I'll turn off the battery. All the green lights turn off. Great. So with this, we are at the end of this video for today. I hope you liked it. It was really important to me to make sure that I uh, explain the mistake that I made and provide you the missing information so that everything now works as expected. Thanks for pointing it out to me. Um, well, if you have any further questions, use the comment section below the video or even better, Join our Discord server totally for free. Join our community, which is awesome. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go to the website if you haven't yet. Go there. You can also join the forums, but also very important, if you haven't yet, download MobiFlight on the website for free. Thanks so much for joining today, and I'm looking forward to seeing you on one of my next videos. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Happy landings. Mm -hmm.